Friday, January the 3rd, the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Now, I would imagine the majority of people will be back at work by this point. So you get some nice afternoon football while you're sitting in the office. 2.30 p.m. on ESPN. It's in Boise, Idaho. You get Frank Solich and Ohio Bobcats against Jay Norvell and Nevada. Now, Ohio went 6-6 six and six this year, not nearly the 10-2 and two record that I had them at. Um, but it, it goes to show Joe Burrow's dad was actually really good as a defensive coordinator because Ohio's defense has been complete crap this year. <laughs> yes. So, um, I, I will say, you know, I, I think both of these teams are going to score. So, the, the total on this is 58.5, and, and that's up from 54.5. I'm going to go over the 58 and a half. Nevada is the strangest team this season that I may have ever seen. They get blown out by just random teams and relatively good teams, of course, because you got to be good to be able to blow somebody out. But, you know, I could understand them getting blown out by Oregon, but not like 77 to three blown out. And that's what happened. I, I could see them getting beat up pretty good against Hawaii but I didn't see them getting beat 54-3 by Hawaii. You know, like Nevada is just like when they want to show up, they can find ways to grind out wins. But man, I, like Ohio is one of those teams that's going to be able to put up a bunch of points on them. Uh, I love Ohio in this spot. Like neither team has any real advantage other than, um, I mean, offensive points per game. Ohio is number 20 in the country. Nevada is number 111. So, like, Ohio can score. They will score. The line is only 7.5. I'm rolling Ohio minus 7.5 here. I think they win this game pretty big. I think Nevada makes it difficult to score against air. Like, they, they just, it, it's, a, it's very difficult for them to score, period. So, I'm going to go with Ohio. So who, what about uh, the 58.5? The 58.5 is... The over-unders jumped four points. Yeah, it moved way, way up, but I think that's because, like, Ohio, I think, is going to score a lot. Like, a whole lot. So, and and Ohio's defense is not great, so Nevada will be able to find some points somewhere. But, I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go Ohio. I, I, I definitely like that side of it. I never liked the idea of picking a team or betting on a team that, even throughout the year when every game mattered, like we didn't know if they were going to show up or not. Why the hell should I bank on them showing up and carrying in a, in a game that absolutely doesn't matter. Just a complete <laughs> exhibition game. That's a yeah. good point. So, so I, 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 I wouldn't put one nickel on Nevada. All right. I just don't trust it. Uh, the over under scares me. Everybody going over, I'm just, this is just going to be the, I'm going to be on the house here and just let me go under. And okay. I'm just going to take it. It jumped four points. I just think that's scary. Yeah, I can, uh, I can understand that. So I, uh, I am going over here. Uh, now, to be fair, in the Bahamas Bowl, everybody moved on the under and it still hit under. So it, it, it was, it oh, opened no, it. Not that it never is going to happen. I'm just, it's I, a scary know, proposition, right? I don't like that the line has moved four points. Yeah. It's a lot I've been to move. with the public plenty of times, but a lot of times those public plays the line doesn't jump like this. Now you're you're right about that. 